So, welcome back to a, another tutorial for Amp Creator. Uh, we're going to be working on how to uh, make a basic pickaxe in Amp Creator, and I'm going to be covering as much information as I can. Uh, now, I'm just finishing up uh, creating a texture for a pickaxe uh, in paint.net, so uh, we'll be doing that. And now we need to import the texture using uh, the textures tab. So that's our texture there, it's on our desktop. And I'm gonna select uh, import item texture and go to desktop and then select the item texture that I just finished making. Uh, next, what we need to do is create the actual tool, el tool element. So we'll be doing that by going to our elements tab and then going to tool, giving it a um, our mod uh, prefix and then the um, element prefix so we're going to be using tool Ruby and then or basically the name of the uh, tool we're going to select its texture and then we are presented with uh, settings so we're just going to use a uh, default pickaxe and then we're going to go and call it Ruby pickaxe for the GUI Harvest level, I'll get into that in a little bit, but uh, depend. it basically declares on what kind of blocks it can break. Uh, blocks with higher harvest level will only be, be able to be broken with the tool that has this harvest level. So uh, if we set it to four, then it will be a custom tool that um, will only be able to break up to um, level four harvest level blocks. Uh, so for instance, um, three is uh, what diamond pickaxes have and obsidian has the property of three. So efficiency is how fast the block will actually mine uh, blocks. Enchantability, I have no idea what really does. I think it has something to do with the enchantment table. Um, if you know any information on that, let me know in the comments. And damage per mob, this can be found on the tools uh, respective page. So if you go to uh, Minecraft um, wiki and then search up tool, um, I got a little bit sidetracked here. I was looking up um, how to possibly get uh, structures into uh, generate like loot chest and stuff but it doesn't look like it might not be possible to do loot tables uh, because Amp Creator with its current state isn't going to be able to do loot tables at this given time. Uh, there's probably a workaround but I'm not going to invest too much time into it. So breaking doesn't actually have anything under here so if we go to we need uh, the damage per animal so if we go to pickaxe and select pickaxe, then we'll be presented with all the different types of pickaxes. These are the durability for those items. So stone, iron, whatever, that's how many uses it has uh, in what you would set for M Crater. So that's a great value to actually find out what you need your uh, number of uses to be. So I think 5,000 is the maximum that you can actually go. Um, maybe, I don't know might be 4,000, let's try 2,000, we can still go up, let's try 3,000, still can go up 4,000, okay, so it caps at 4,000, so you can only go up to a maximum durability of 4,000 uses, which is okay, I guess. Um, damage per mob, though, um, now attack speed is something different for depending on the item. I don't think Amp Critter has uh, that in place, but the uh, attack damage um, for the item, it, you can still kind of understand what the amount of hearts it takes to damage. On that page though, it shows the hearts, so each value is a half a heart. So that's good. Uh, now the Harvest level on the block can be set down here on the block uh, that you want to set it to. Now it can only be set to your own mods. Uh, now we want to make a recipe for the actual uh, tool because it doesn't come with a recipe. You have to make that manually. 
uh, because uh, just some people would want a recipe for a particular item. Maybe it would be found in a chest or whatever in the future, right? So um, we're just going to make a basic recipe that's already in game and uh, just update the ore that we use to rubies and we're going to call it a ruby pickaxe like we did before so that's all good. We're going to select the tool that it's going to craft so the tool that we just made and that's all good. So once that's finished compiling uh, we'll go into game and uh, show you how everything works. You don't need a procedure or anything for this to work. So once in game I did play around with the settings a little bit and um, the block does uh, go a lot faster with higher efficiency uh, just with the basic game. This is an unenchanted item so the efficiency on the item is uh, a lot higher and it's just it's unusable pretty much if it has too much enchantability or efficiency on it. Um, the only thing that I worry about is if it uh, goes too fast with enchantments and it might not register the block is broken and Minecraft is just horrible for that problem. So anyhow, that's uh, basically all there is to making a block. Thanks for watching. See you next Thank time. Thank you for watching my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that little silver bell for notifications. You can also go to my Google Plus page. I use that as a feed for all my new videos that I publish. If you want to go a little bit further in supporting me, uh, you can also go to my website and do a one-time donation on the donation page, or you can subscribe to me on Patreon and, um, and get content earlier than anyone else on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, definitely comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions or comments. And uh, if I don't get back to you right away, then I might be a little bit busy at the moment, but I will do my best to get back to uh, as many people as I can, as with uh, the time that I do have. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time.